In this tutorial, I'd like to give you a quick overview of some of the new features and functionality of HDR Expose 3. I'll also be creating several other tutorials that'll go into each of the individual features and functionality in greater detail. Let's start with the basics. Creating natural looking HDR images in HDR Expose 3 is a simple three-step process. The first step is merging the images, where we take individual RAW files and combine them into a 32-bit HDR image. The second step is tone mapping. This is where we take the wide dynamic range image and process it so that it can be displayed on a typical uh, low dynamic range uh, display or output device. The final step is saving this image out in your final destination file format. Let's start by creating a new HDR image. I'm going to click on the Create New HDR Image button, and this brings up my Merge dialog. You'll notice that your individual exposure brackets here are conveniently grouped together as scenes. Now, if I look at some of these here, I can see that they didn't properly group together because the time interval between the individual frames is probably a little bit longer than the others. So I can adjust this with my Auto Stack Images slider. And now you see that they're all on one slice. Some of these images have three frames, some of them have four frames, a couple of them have many more, like 12 frames. You really want to make sure that you have all of the image data captured when you're on location to render the whole dynamic range of the original scene. So that you ca have one frame that captures all of your highlights and then another frame that captures all of your shadow information. Let's start with one image here that'll highlight some of the automatic deghosting features in HDR Expose 3. I'm going to start by selecting this frame or this series of images and then I'll just click on the merge button. Now this process is automatically merging the image together and removing the ghost elements. Now you can see that this scene is rather busy. Uh, it's a picture of a beach uh, in Monterey, California, and there are people mulling around on the beach. And these are moving objects between the frames that normally would result in significant ghost artifacts. The new algorithms inside of HDR Expose 3 have automatically corrected for that, so there are no ghost artifacts left in the image. Now if I look at this image, I can select a different uh, preset from my presets list. I can click through and try some that I like uh, to see which one I like best. And perhaps for this image, I'll just take the optimal uh, preset. This adds a little bit of saturation and a little bit of more contrast and sharpness to the image. When I'm done, I just click on the Save button. And I'll save this TIFF file to this folder. That's it. Merge, Tone Map, and Save. Now let's go back and look at another sample image. Let's look at this example. This is a very wide dynamic range scene. I have over 12 exposures in this bracket. Um, it's a static scene. Images were shot from a tripod, and there are no moving objects in the scene. For this image, I'm going to select my Merge Static Photos option. This will adjust the merge parameters in order to provide the best shadow detail and the least amount of noise in your image. I'm going to click the Merge button. Now this image has a huge dynamic range. If I click on the Reset preset, you can actually see that this image has a dynamic range of over 20 stops. This light gray area is my display zone. This shows me the area of the image, of the histogram, that can be displayed on the computer display at this time. So what I'm seeing here are basically my highlights out in, in, in the clouds and outside the window. As I shift this down, you can see how all of the other detail in the scene is rendered. So this is a linear 32-bit HDR image that hasn't been tone mapped. Now in order to tone map this image, I can simply click on one of my presets. This is the initial default preset called Tone Map Linear. You'll notice that when I click on that, 
the entire histogram of the scene fits now fits nicely within this display zone. I can click any one of the other presets that we've provided in order to find the one that best creates the mood that I want to have for this image. I can use this as a starting point and then use my tone mapping controls here on the right hand side in order to fine tune the results. In this image I just want to perhaps increase the the shadow and midtone uh, values a little bit and I'll use the gamma slider for this. And again I'll go into more detail on all of the individual controls here in a separate tutorial. When I'm happy with the, the image, again, I'll click on the Save button, give it a name, and save it to that folder. And that was our quick overview of HDR Expose 3. That's how easy it is to start with your original RAW files, merge them into a 32-bit HDR image, tone map them, and save them out for your final result. Thanks for watching.